John here, and today we're going to continue with the Stallone Marathon and review Lockup. Uh, to me, another underrated Stallone film here, and you know the story real quick. So, you know Stallone in the film plays Frank Leone, and he's nearing the end of his prison term for a minor crime, and just just before he's paroled, he's transferred to this maximum security prison that's ran by this vindictive warden. Uh, Donald Sutherland's character in the film and you know the warden was assigned to this hellhole prison uh, which you find out that you know in the past his administration was humiliated by you know Frank Leone and now he wants to put our lead character through hell in this prison and that's the plot to the film here and the film is directed by John Flynn uh, unfortunately, he's passed away, but, you know, prior to this, he had directed Roland Thunder. He also directed Best Seller, and I think because of that film, you know, James Woods had recommended to Stallone, you know, hey, you can work with John Flynn, and I think I read that somewhere. Um, so, you know, John Flynn was recommended to direct this film by James Woods, who was in Best Seller, and he also directed Out for Justice in 91 with Seagal. You know, very good action film. I would say that's my second favorite Seagal film. But the cast here, you know, Stallone is Frank Leone. It's a strong performance. And, you know, not many people talk about his performance here or, you know, this film. But, and it's a shame because I think that, again, like I said in the beginning of the film, or the review, I should say, that it's an underrated movie. And Stallone was great at playing these types of characters where... You know, they have to overcome the odds. And in this film, you know, this character is stuck in this hellhole prison. Even the warden tells him, you know, hey, this is hell, and I'm going to give you the guided tour. And he throws everything at the main character, you know, taking away certain privileges. And Stallone does a great job at selling, you know, of being put through hell. And you can't help but, you know, feel bad for our lead character. And when he takes revenge you know of you know i've had enough and i'm gonna strike back you can't help but root for you know frank leone so you know again sly does a great job and you know it's a strong performance you know donald sutherland as the warden drum ghoul you know he's vindictive and you can't help but you know hate this character and donald sutherland does a great job here you got john amos as Meisner in the film and you know he works with the, the warden but you know throughout the film he starts to see that you know the warden has gone too far and John Amos you know is a good actor you know he was in Die Hard 2 and you know much more Sonny Landham as Chink in the film uh, Sonny Landham from Predator and uh, Firewalker unfortunately he's passed away but and he's in there for a little bit as the character of Chink, and, you know, he does a good job here. You know, being that, you know, a prisoner that works for the warden, and he's, you know, on and off, you know, throughout the movie. You know, he's trying to get at Sly's character. You got Tom Sizemore. And the, the thing that I noticed here about this film, a lot of the cast has passed away. And it's unfortunate. You got Tom Sizemore who just passed, Frank McRae, uh, he passed away, the uh, the wife in the film, you know, Stallone's uh, fiance in the film, Melissa, played by Darlan Flugel, she's passed away. So again, it's unfortunate that, you know, a lot of this cast here is no longer with us, uh, but Tom Sizemore is Dallas, you know, he's good support here. I always liked, you know, Tom Sizemore, and I thought, you know, him and Stallone had a good rapport. Uh, Frank McRae as Eclipse, and of course, you know, Frank McRae, you know, McRae, he was in, he had a bit part in Rocky II. He was in The Last Action Hero as the Mad Chief, <laughs> uh, but he's Eclipse here, and it's a good character. You know, he plays a, ni a nice character that, you know, is friends with our lead character, and you have the character of first base, you know, played by Larry Ma Romano. You know, he does a good job here. And again, you have the wife, uh, 
Melissa in the film. And, you know, like I said, it's unfortunate that a lot of the cast here has passed away. Uh, but everybody does a good job. And, you know, like I said, you know, Stallone gives a strong performance. And, you know, Donald Sutherland as the warden is vindictive and you can't help but hate the character. And you got a nice supporting cast. Also, too, you know, the score by Bill Conti, it's a great score. You know, Bill Conti had worked on the Rocky movies, and I thought he provided a really nice score here to the film. And as far as, you know, things about the film here, you know, again, a slice performance, you know, to me, that is a highlight uh, for me here. You got a nice supporting cast. You know, the obstacles that the characters put through, and again, you can't help but feel for the main character. I talked about that, and also, too, there's really, you know, throughout this movie, you get, you feel that there's this brotherhood and friendship, you know, between the characters, you know, where Stallone is stuck in this situation, but in the situation, you know, he becomes friends with, you know, some of the prisoners and, you know, they uh, develop a, you know, rapport and he got some good scenes in the film where, you know, they play this football game in the mud and, you know, they work on this car uh, you know, where they have like this body shop in the prison and, you know, they're repairing this car and you got the scene where the character first base, you know, he's, he doesn't know how to drive, but he takes the car and he drives out into the yard and, you know, they beat up the car. The warden gives the order for the prisoners to, you know, beat up the car and, uh, to me, that was a very emotional scene there. So, I mean, I really liked, you know, again, Stallone and, you know, the supporting cast here of the people in the prison where, you know, he becomes friends with these characters. And there's a brotherhood there and there's friendships. And, you know, when one character dies, that's when Leone strikes back and to get back at the warden. And there's some moments of suspense here uh, a little bit of suspense it's not much of a thriller but there are some moments of again suspense there and donald sutherland again he's great as the warden here you can't help but hate the character but like i said you know lock up is a film that if you're just getting into sly and you haven't seen all of his stuff you know, I definitely recommend Lock Up here. Uh, but with all that being said, let me get to my overall thoughts on Lock Up. Sylvester Stallone delivers a strong performance, and Donald Sutherland as the warden is vindictive. Nice supporting cast and wonderful score by Bill Conti. You know, Lock Up is a great prison drama packed with a good story and emotion. Another underrated picture in Stallone's filmography. And out of 10, I'm going to give Lock Up a 8 out of 10. But thank you for watching and stay tuned for more.